Hello again everybody and welcome to another free indie horror game. This time I'm going to be playing Blackwell's Asylum, which is a game that was made by a group of students as a project about two or three years ago. And it actually got praised really well. I think it won a couple of awards as well, but I've never played it before, so we're going to give this a try for my first time anyway. Here we go. Oh, hello. Bloody hell. Straight into it. What the hell are you doing? Who are you? <laughs> kind of a goofy style from what I've seen of the screenshots. Almost cartoon-like. I mean, look at that guy's face. What are you doing? Uh, which one of you's Blackwell? You? Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. You have trouble walking, do you? Oh, that must be Blackwell, right? I don't like that syringe he's got. Ooh. You trying to choke me now? Come on! Easy now, Nelly. We've been through this before. It doesn't hurt a bit. There, there. That was What did you just do? Hey, Doc. I need you in here. This one needs a good night kiss. A good night kiss, he says. Okay. So the story in this is that I'm trapped inside an asylum and I've just got to escape. Okay, M to display the menu. Why not? Okay. So it just shows me the controls. I've already actually had a look at this. It's all very standard stuff. So let's just go back. Okay. So then. I've got like strange vision actually. Look at that. I mean, you can, see, you can just see the bend over there in the woodwork. <laughs> my vision's a bit strange. Okay. So I guess they just like left me in my room, right? Do I, do I start escaping now? Can I collect stuff or what? Don't know. I don't know how I'm going to escape. Do I just go for the front door and hope for the best? I can't open that door, I don't think. Open the door. There we are. Okay. It's very, very nice to actually see that you have a body in some of these games. It's really good. So, yeah. Uh, this is fucking weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is so surreal. This is a screenshot I saw that actually made me download the game, honestly. Let's just run, okay. Uh, just The walls are just out of place, jagged. I assume it's an effect of the drugs. I guess I'm, I'm going to be tripping balls throughout the game. You make more noise when you run, that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, it's, this looks pretty unique. And um, it's just one of those games that I think I probably should have played a lot earlier. <laughs> I seem to be saying this more and more as uh, time progresses, but if you have any indie games that you'd like me to play and you'd like to see on this channel, please put them in the comments below and I'll check them out and I might actually make a video on it. From what I've seen from the screenshots on the website, it looks like this game's a uh, kind of like got the same style as Among the Sleep, where it's quite colourful and cartoonish, but not excessively so. There's a uh, left mouse button to hide, apparently. Oh, bloody hell, okay. Alrighty then, we'll be hiding in this game, it seems. How'd you get out of it then? Space when you see a bright ring. Oh, okay. I think I get it. Okay, that's just how you control your breathing, I see. Okay, so I assume if you don't uh, like press space when it uh, tells you to you'll get like really erratic and probably panic and they'll find you or something the light switch whoa <laughs> oh my eyes are not used to this brightness wow that's really crazy actually I do like this it's it is very surreal very sort of cartoony um, yeah I think this uh, it's got a it's got a good look Leaving doors open can divert wardens. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll bear that in mind. Where are these wardens, anyway? Can we, like, pick stuff up or anything? Oh, we can we can hide under, like, desks and stuff, I guess? Can we hide under these chairs or under the table over there? I guess not. Bloody hell. I guess turning the lights on and leaving the doors open is probably not a very good idea, because it looks like... Someone's been walking through and not locking the doors behind them and stuff. And yeah, Q and E to lean. That's that's basic stuff, really. Still on the tutorial section of the game, I guess. Okay. 
<laughs> oh no 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 no! The warden. What are you doing out of bed? No, oh oh boy, where's he going? There's a door there. Why can't he go through the door? Can he not go through the door? Can I go through the door? Where's he going? Oh, maybe that's my escape. Oh no, wait, there's bars. No, I guess not. Oh, what's this? Okay, like an open window on the the floor up above. Okay, is that my escape then? Is that where I need to go? Wait, what? what? Hang on, what the fuck? What just happened? Did I just get teleported? It must be the drugs. It must be the drugs. How did I get here? Where even is here? Well, there's a map. I'm here. Uh, next to the chamber in room number one. Okay. Okay, well, I don't know why, but some of the map just isn't here. Maybe I'm just not seeing it properly. The staircase to the second floor. I guess that's where I need to go. Is this the first floor? I need to get to the second? Head towards the music, I guess. Yeah, let's let's just assume that's the case. Okay, weird. Very weird. Cool, though. All right, so the first floor is cells and patient rooms. Second floor, staff quarters and administrative... Uh, sorry, administrative... Administrational? Administrational. Administrational offices. Right, okay. That's a word that I, I don't think I've ever pronounced before. Had a little bit of trouble with it, honestly. Okay, turn the lights on. There we are. Uh, hopefully this door is going to be unlocked, because I don't think there's any other way out. Right, okay. So, uh, head towards the staircase, right? <laughs> Basically head towards the nothingness on the map. I don't know if I can go through the chamber or anything. Let's try it. No, it's locked up. Okay. Uh, let's try room number one. Oh, we can go in. No one's in here. Uh, my vision seems to be even worse than before, if that's possible. Or or maybe the, the bed's just like a very, very strange shape. I'm not really sure. Probably a bit of both, actually. <laughs> what about door number two? Ooh, I can hear something, but I can't see anyone. It's kind of creepy, honestly. I like the, um, the black outline. You can see... I'm panicking. What's this? I think I hear footsteps, but oh, oh, you know what? This might be a little bit like, you know, dark echo lurking. I might be able to see sound waves. Is that right? I, I definitely heard footsteps. There's definitely someone around there. I think that's what I was seeing. That's a very strange place. Is that a fireplace? That, that looks like it should be in a cave, not an asylum. The fuck? Green fire as well? It's got to be the drugs. I'm hallucinating everything, surely. <laughs> okay. Are we going the right way? I don't even know. I suppose I should just, like, close the door behind me. Really. Are we going four? No. Three. It seems that you can't really go through the doors with these, um, sort of, like, grills on. No, I haven't been uh, successful in opening any of them quite yet. No? Okay. I know that the stairs are next to, like, room 18 and 17, so I guess we're kind of going in the right direction. Hang on. Sounds like someone's walking there, so let's let's go this way if possible. Alright. Close the door behind me, like I was never there. <laughs> I'm, I'm already lost, honestly. Hopefully I'm, I'm going in the right direction, though. What's that in the background? Is that music again? It's something. Might just be like ambient noise, I'm not really sure. Really nice style though, this game. It sort of does make you think that you might be a little bit mad. Left, right, I don't know. Let's go left. Probably shouldn't be running everywhere. I mean, just in case someone hears me and you know starts chasing me or whatever. <laughs> I dread to think where that warden is. Maybe that was whose footsteps I heard? I don't know. He did sort of run off in the wrong direction trying to get to me. Oh, bloody hell. Can we go through? There appears to be more people here, but I, I haven't seen anyone yet. Hopefully this doesn't end up in a dead end, because um, I'd probably get lost trying to backtrack, you know? Oh, blimey. Alright. Well, we got a light on in this one. Is anyone in there? I can't open the door yet again. 
Okay, I don't think there's anyone in there either. Just some very, very wacky furniture. Custom built and everything. <laughs> I'm not getting followed. No worries. Look at that bust there. Well, that statue of a head, wow. I'm not sure if that's just my perception of the statue that makes it look weird, or his head is actually that shape. I mean, the uh, the guy at the beginning with the syringe, and even the guy that was holding me down, they had like strange cartoonish faces, so I don't know. Around the corner we go then. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, oh, hang, what was that? Did I just fucking teleport? Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Ah, uh, right, I think I'm transitioning into a, a new fucking place. Because it feels like I've just sort of, like, teleported again. That, yeah. This building doesn't make any sense. I would be inside a wall right here, wouldn't I? This is very odd. Can I go open this? Okay. Right. And This is the room. This, <laughs> this is the room with the light on. It is. The hell? Can I open it from this side? No? This is so confusing. <laughs> I, you know what? I've, I, I don't even think using the map or, you know, looking at the map in greater detail would help me in this place. Everything seems to sort of, like, make itself up as I go through it. I'm, I'm just going to abandon, like, closing the doors right now because I think I'm just going to look for open doors if I have to backtrack. Ah. Kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. My sort of ambient background noise. Um, room room 11 and 12 now. Was that 13 and 14? Yes, okay. Ah, I can go in 14! Blimey! Okay. Looks like, like room number one, with a very misshapen bed again. Oh, right, yeah, okay. You can like, hide under that one too. Quite a lot of things you can hide under, it seems. But um, I haven't actually had any need to yet. I think, whether by luck or... Well, I don't know. Luck or skill. I think I'm outrunning the warden. He's probably still searching for me in the original area. And I am long, long gone from there. Hmm. Seven, 17 and 18, right? So this would be uh, where the stairs would be, right? Uh, I might be wrong in saying this, but this might be where I saw the warden. And he ran in this direction. I don't know how I ended up here, really. I've just gone in a massive, massive circle. Yeah. Okay. This is weird as hell, actually. <laughs> I kind of like it, though. Yeah, I really dig it. It's, it's kind of like walking through like a Tim Burton film or something. Okay, let's go this way. I'm not sure where I'm going anymore. Look at these filing cabinets. That's great. <laughs> This is really cool, actually. Okay, we found the stairs. Okay, we're making some progress, I think. Providing that I do actually have to go upstairs and, uh, you know, get to that window. So up we go. Okay, oh. Another transition. Like, level loaded or something. Okay. Uh, okay, then. Up we go. And this, hopefully, is the second floor. Is there a third? Let's, let's go up to the third. Let's, let's go up to the roof and jump off, if possible. Oh, door's already open. Am I hearing any footsteps or anything? Oh, hang on. Is this like an infinite stairway or something? I should be... Hang on. I don't think there is a fourth floor, but... Okay, yeah. I'm just running up an infinite stairway. That's kind of interesting. God, this place is making me insane. <laughs> it's all to do with the drugs, I bet. Right. All right. Oh, hang on. Shh, shh, shh. I hear a footstep. We've got someone around here, have we? I'm going to sneak from now on. Another wacky fireplace. Someone's definitely around. Let's try this door here. Oh. Which, which way are they going? Oh, hang on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely sound waves. Oh. I think he's coming through that door, maybe. So let's go through this one instead. Look at that grandfather clock. That's crazy. Okay, where is he? There's a lot of little rooms in this area. 
Okay, maybe maybe I don't want to go this way. Okay, let, let's back out of this area. Let's go the way I originally wanted to go. I don't think running around here at this point would be a very smart idea, so I'm not going to do that. Let's see if we can get this open. Okay, oh, all right. Oh, hang on, hang on. <gasps> Ooh, you didn't see that and you definitely didn't hear it. Ooh, maybe he didn't, I don't know. Maybe I actually got away with that. Is he heading, is he heading my direction? If he is, I'm going that way. I'm gonna close the door. Which way is he going? <laughs> I'm just looking for the sound waves now. Sounds like he's right, right, right in front of me actually, so I can't really tell which door he's coming through. It's quite tense, actually. It reminds me a little bit of Alien Isolation, trying to hide from the alien. Oh. Where is he? It is. It's like he's right in front of me. I'm going to make a break for it. Maybe I can outrun him? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Oh. Okay, he's back in that area. I guess I don't want to go that way. Or well, probably that way, either. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, did he see that? He probably should have. Shit. Okay. I don't know if that's the same same guy. It, I guess that's a warden. Let's go this way now. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. Maybe you can only see the sound waves when you're standing completely still. I'm not entirely sure about that. Hmm, okay. Is opening this a smart idea or a bad idea? What about this one? Sounds like he's getting closer. I don't like this. Tell you what, if he goes through that one, I'll go through this one. Because there's two doors on the right of this room, isn't there? Let's try it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I see. Oh god, he's coming through there now, is he? Right, okay. Hmm, okay, now this is actually starting to become a little bit strategic. This is where the stealth element comes in. I can't just run around all the time now. It's kind of interesting. Let's, um... I say let's go that way. If I can just sort of sneak by. Can I sneak by? He's very close. I'm hiding, I'm hiding. <laughs> oh, in the nick of time too! Oh, controlled breathing, yes. Ah. Okay. Ah, Jesus. I can't see the ring. Okay, calm yourself. Hang on, he's running the wrong way. Oh, I, I, yeah, I left the door open, so I, I diverted him, right? Okay, now he's, he's over there. That's where I pretty much came from, so let's, let's go where he uh, came from. So let's go into here. Closing the door. Oh, he's over there now. Okay. <laughs> Let's go in here. Come on. There. Okay. Okay. Left, right. Uh, towards the statue. Towards the statue. I don't really have a preference, but I just want to get away from him. Okay. Right. Oh, damn. He doesn't look too good, honestly. Let's go through here. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, more filing cabinets. Weird bookshelves and everything. It seems pretty empty apart from me. I don't know. Where, where, where would I be wanting to go? I need some sort of direction. There's got to be like a room up here with a window open. I haven't seen it quite yet. Is he following me? No? Good. Maybe I do have to go down there. I hope not. Maybe that's where the warden is. There's some screaming going on like outside. I don't even know how that's possible. In fact, you can see through the window that there's no room there. So, what? What? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's just like a sort of like a, a, a sort of scrappily made game. You know, I mean, it's made by a group of students and everything. I'm not expecting an A plus sort of um, experience. You know, with spit and polish and everything. But I don't know. It kind of lends itself to the style quite well. 
I'm so lost. <laughs> I, I guess I'm on the right floor, providing I haven't uh, teleported around all that much. Fireplaces are still a bit weird. Hang on, did I hear a footstep? I think I am hearing something. Uh, let, let's just keep going this way. Keep on the outside of the building, right? I don't want to go in, I want to go out, because the, the windows are on the outside. On one of the outside rooms, so... Uh, if I can, let's go left as well. Brilliant, okay. More weird freaking cave fireplaces. And I like that candelabra, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Uh, honestly, wouldn't be so surprised to see Helen and Bonham Carter and Johnny Depp down here somewhere. Fun, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, through here? No, uh, I, I, I guess, let's just keep to the left. That's probably where windows would be. Probably. Jeez. Okay, oh, not in this room. Hang on, hang on, that was a weird transition. Yep, must be teleporting somewhere again. <laughs> I hope I'm on the right floor though. What happened in here? Maybe I'm like the last person to escape or something. It looks like a lot of people already sort of left. I mean, there's no one here that I've seen. Apart from like Wardens and Mr. Blackwell, I guess. Or Dr. Blackwell, maybe. Is it safe to sprint? I, I hope so. We have a window like in on the inside. This building makes no sense. <laughs> no sense at all. Nice freaking table. Imagine trying to eat a bowl of cereal off that. It would just keep sliding around all over the place. What? Okay. Uh, am I going back on myself in a circle? I kind of feels like it. I'm, I think I'm actually slowly losing my mind playing this game. <laughs> well, oh no. Okay, I haven't been here. Another transition? Okay, what the fuck? Is that glowing? Oh, right! Oh, okay. Oh, you can hide in here as well. I didn't realize that. That explains why I've seen so many of them, actually. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. So, yeah, around this... Around this gate that doesn't exist anymore. Wait, no, seriously. <laughs> oh, man. This is quite well made, actually. I mean, I don't really know how games get designed all that well, but it seems quite fancy. It's probably a very, very easy trick to do. And it's obviously not stellar, because I know there's a transition and everything, but... Still pretty cool. I appreciate it. I haven't really been closing doors on myself, so I kind of know that I haven't been in this room before. Unless... Oh, th this room doesn't even have a door. <laughs> so confusing. Okay. We we've got to be making progress, right? I haven't actually seen a map yet of this, like, top floor. I don't know if we're going to find one. It probably won't make all that much sense anyway, even if we do. Oh, there is a stamina problem, then. You can't just keep running. Come on, then. Ah! Oh! Oh, hello. Okay, you don't seem to be bothered by my presence. I guess, uh, yeah, this is where we're meant to go. That's the window. Hi. He's not looking at me, you know, eye to eye. Bed and we'll oh, now he is. This. <laughs> He's also floating. <laughs> don't, don't come any closer now. I'm warning you. I'll call for the wardens. I mean it. I won't hesitate to call the wardens. They won't be nice to you, Nelly. You should have known your place. You will take your punishment. We're gonna syringe Sorry. me again. She's in she's in here. Help me. She's going out the window. She's escaping. Okay, that was Blackwell's Asylum. Short and 
kind of sweet. Uh, yeah, a few little problems with the game. Obviously, it's lacking a bit of spit and polish. The transition screens, you can see, you can look through windows into other rooms, and sometimes the rooms aren't there. Might, might or might not be intentional, honestly. Um, <clears throat> kind of a little bit of a complaint about uh, how much of a challenge the game is. There didn't really seem to be any challenge. Maybe I just got really lucky, I'm not really sure, but despite passing through so many rooms with loads of different hiding places, I didn't really have to hide at all. I think I just hid once, effectively. I just ran past everything uh, all the other times and survived. So, yeah. Interesting little game. I did like the style of it. Didn't really enjoy it as much as I thought I would, but I hope you enjoyed the video either way. If you have any other indie games that you'd like me to try out, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, nothing more to say, but uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.